High blood pressure after kidney transplantation is one of the most common complications after transplant. About 7 in 10 patients will have a high blood pressure, which is considered higher than 140 over 90. So what are the consequences of this high blood pressure? So first of all, it may shorten the life of a kidney transplant by about two years. It may also increase the risk of heart complications and may also increase the risk of dying. So controlling this blood pressure is critical. So what is the goal blood pressure that we should use after transplantation? So in general, and this is, uh, you may discuss further with your treating physician, a high blood pressure is considered when your systolic, the higher number is 140 or above, or diastolic above uh, 90, okay? And then you have a, a intermediate high blood pressure when is between 121 and 139 over 81 or 89 that we have to pay attention. And the, the normal blood pressure is when 120 or less or diastolic 80 or less. Remember that high blood pressure is a silent killer, so most patients won't have any symptoms. So it may go unnoticed and lead to gradual kidney damage. Only if blood pressure is extremely high, you may feel a headache, a blurry vision, fatigue, or even ring in your ears. The main consequences of a high blood pressure include a heart failure, stroke, or eye damage. And we know that the kidney is also a major, major target for high blood pressure. The reason for that is that the kidney is formed by about a million tiny little filters, which we call glomerulus, with delicate blood vessels, as you can see here. These delicate blood vessels can get affected with the high blood pressure and cause damage, and they actually uh, try to protect itself and start causing a lot of narrowing of the blood vessels, uh, not permitting the high blood pressure to reach those delicate vessels. This narrowing decreases the amount of blood flow to the kidney and may affect your kidney function overall. So how should you control your blood pressure after transplant? So most of all, you gotta check your blood pressure frequently and aim for a goal blood pressure of around 120 over 80. If you don't have that goal blood pressure, you have to pay attention to a few things. First of all, you have to eat healthier. We know that a healthier diet is able to re reduce your blood pressure. Second, you got to eat less salt. Salt may raise your blood pressure as we have previously discussed. Staying healthy and physically active may also help reduce your blood pressure. Most patients will still require some medications to lower your blood pressure. And you once you start taking any of these medications, you have to check your blood pressure frequently in order to keep things under control and make sure that you're not causing further damage to your kidney.